guys, I'm Faith and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing something very exciting because I've collaborated with my babe from The Lulu Life here on YouTube. I will link her down below so go check out her channel. She had this awesome idea to collaborate on our top five beauty picks from the place where we are currently living. I thought that was such an awesome idea. She is an Aussie so she's going to be giving you guys all of her Australian picks in her video and for me, if you are new here, if you're new from her channel, hi! Hey, welcome. <laughs> um, I am going to be talking all about my picks from South Korea because while I am an American, I am currently residing in South Korea. This is the place that I currently call home. And let me just tell y'all, this is really, really hard. K-beauty is like an entire genre. <laughs> so to put it down, like to break it down into five things, it was quite the challenge. Honestly, like this was so hard to do. I just like stood in front of my medicine cabinet, just like staring for a long amount of time trying to figure out what to include in this video so I kind of made my own spin on things <laughs> so to figure out what my five top picks are from K-Beauty just keep on watching but before we do if you're new here and if you like me if you like my vibes if you like this kind of video please just take a quick second and subscribe that big red button just click it right down below I'll wait and give this video a big thumbs up if you like these kind of collaborations. And now, we'll jump right on into my top five picks. Up first is my tried and true beauty water from Sun and Park. You guys can actually find this in America. I know Sephora sells this now. But in Korea, this is like a K-beauty cult classic. And believe it or not, I actually didn't really enjoy this the first time I used it because I was like, what's the point? I don't understand. But it is one of those products where I use it every single day and my skincare collection is like... It's, it's a little embarrassing. But when you have a really big skincare collection, if you're reaching for the same thing over and over and over again, uh, it means something, right? So I have come to terms with the fact that I'm obsessed with this. It was in my top 10 of K-Beauty from last year. It has made like a bunch of my top lists. It continues to be a favorite. As you can tell, I'm running kind of low and I've repurchased this time and time again. It's a gentle cleansing water and a mild, mild exfoliant. So for me, I have combination acne prone skin. This is an essential for me. The beauty water is something that I use religiously every single morning and when I'm not using it like when I'm testing something else out my skin always hates it like without fail it wants the beauty water back in its life that mild exfoliation really does wonders for my skin personally I have combination acne prone skin so really just like taking off a little slight layer of any dead skin cells or any buildup that you know happened the night before um, is just exactly what my skin needs to stay clear and just like happy. By the way, you guys, I'm going to link all of these products down below in the description box. Some of them might be affiliate links. I'm not affiliated with any brands, but just from generating the link, I do get a little bit of kickback, which of course I put right back into this channel. So I want to give you guys full disclaimer. Um, and if you're interested in any of these products, those links will be down below. Okay. So my second pick is SPF. SPF in Korea is like unlike anything else I've ever seen. Honestly, J-Beauty and K-Beauty just do it right when it comes to sunscreens. The Western world has, has nothing on K-Beauty SPF. Seriously, you guys, like in America, the laws and rules and regulations that the FDA places on sunscreen are so much less than that in Korea. Like in Korea, their SPFs are just a notch above. They take their skincare very seriously over here, and I definitely appreciate it. It's definitely made me the kind of person that's like reaching more for my sunscreen because sunscreen's a really tough thing to get right, you know? Like for me, I'm the kind of person where if the sunscreen is going to make me oily or if it's going to break up on me or make my makeup look bad, like... I'm probably not going to even reach for sunscreen, which I know, it's horrible being like a skincare blogger, like that's, that's a cardinal sin. But it's so true, I mean, like if you're not going to find a right sunscreen for you, why are you going to use it, just like any other product? So the two that I am absolutely obsessed with are the Beat Shield from Crave and Innisfree Triple Care. The Beat Shield from Crave Beauty is so lovely because it's a serum-like consistency that just melts into the skin so, so easily. There's no white cast whatsoever, it doesn't pill, it doesn't make my makeup like all messed up at the end of the day. It really, really does just it's just a lovely SPF and it's formulated so well. It has a ton of antioxidants in here, you guys, and I just, I love every single thing about this. The Innisfree Triple Care is a forever favorite of mine. If you are a combination, if you're oily, if you're acne prone, this is going to be for you. Honestly, it could be good for anyone, but if you do have my skin type, like this is a serious win. 
The consistency is a little bit thick. It's almost like a primer, you guys. It really does like blur out my pores, make my skin look a little bit more perfected, and it's the perfect prep for makeup. Makeup lays on top of this beautifully. I do find that it does help out with like my oil control through the day. Like this is a like a standout SPF, especially if you have my skin type. I could not recommend this more. And you guys, both of these are so affordable. This would not be a top five video if I did not include Dr. Jart bases. I love both of these for very different reasons, but kind of for the same reasons too. They're both skincare meets makeup. So when it comes to Recover, I love this because, well, let's just get into it. It's a green cream that essentially turns into your skin tone when you rub it into the skin. I love it because it has Sika in it, which is really good at neutralizing redness. For me, I don't really have rosacea or anything like that, but I do get red when I work out. I do get red when I'm like, you know, working up a sweat at the gym. <laughs> and, and I do have a lot of redness in terms of hyperpigmentation and old acne scars. So when it comes to me, I love to use this product on days where I am running errands and I want a light base. In Korea, I never go outside the house, like ever, without something on my skin because the pollution in the smog here is next level and like I refuse to go outside and have that penetrate my skin. So this is a really good, like solid, easy base. It's very lightweight, you guys. I also love this for the gym because Again, I want that protective layer between myself and my skin and the pollution and the germs and the bacteria <laughs> that are all around me. So this just does a really good job at not only protecting my skin from the nasties all around me, but you know, it makes me feel a little bit better about myself because it is a skin tint. It does kind of neutralize my breakouts and my acne scars, which I love. It makes me feel confident, you know, in my skin. And confidence is what it is all about. So I couldn't love this anymore for the day to day. Also, makeup wears beautifully on top of this. Second product is the Disapport by Dr. Jar. This is their BB cream. Again, it has SPF of 30. This is so high coverage. This is the highest coverage BB cream I have ever encountered and I use it as a foundation. Um, I will use this on its own. Sometimes I'll mix deep bronzy in with it or another additive to kind of shift the color because this does lean a little bit gray on me, um, but it's a beautiful mixing medium. If you want to add your normal foundation to it, it's beautiful as well. I love this because it fills in all of my pores. It makes me look flawless, like the most flawless base of all time. It's super lightweight as well. You are going to need to put a light powder on top of this or it might like slip and slide off your face. But other than that, this is a beautiful skincare meets makeup, like base for all of you combo, oily, acne prone types. Up next is an entire brand and I'm talking about Kosarx. When I moved to Korea, Kosarx was the very first brand that I wanted to try because I heard nothing but amazing things about them and the price point is just right. I mean their prices go all the way from like two dollars up to like 20, 25 bucks and for skincare and for the quality skincare that you're getting from this brand that is just ridiculously insane. So amazing. So I am here for the price and for like the value for money in terms of how effective these products are. The one I did want to make mention of today though is the Kosarx Good Morning Gel Cleanser. This is like less than $10. So affordable. It doesn't have like the most aesthetically pleasing packaging. If I'm like out on the town and I don't really know what I'm looking for, I'm probably not going to pick this up. But you guys, it's so good. <laughs> I have friends that are more dry who love this. I have friends that are super oily who love this. It is just a perfect rebalancing cleanser. Um, whenever I am trying new skincare, which is all the time. <laughs> um, I am always trying things that break me out because I'm very, very acne prone. Whenever I'm breaking out, whether it's hormonal or due to a new product or something's just reacting negatively with my skin, this is the cleanser that I always go for to rebalance everything out. I will strip everything away and I'll just go in with this cleanser, a toner and a moisturizer and just like forget the rest and this rebalances my skin within a period of like three to five days. The pH in this is a 5.5 so it is perfect at just neutralizing everything out. It is such a solid cleanser. It doesn't foam up too much so you're not going to get that extra like air into the skin when you do cleanse. When I use this my skin is just refreshed in the best possible way. I couldn't recommend this more. I couldn't recommend the brand more so check them out. I know they're now in Ulta in America which is so amazing because I was thinking to myself like when I leave Korea like how am I gonna get my Coaster X? Ulta! 
I am obsessed with snail. Snail everything. These are just a few of my snail products that I pulled for this video. My love of snail all started with the Cosrx Snail Mucin 96. This is 96% snail secretion, you guys, and I know what you're probably thinking, ew, snail, gross, that's nasty. Believe me, I thought the same thing. <laughs> But picture this, you are a snail, <laughs> and you're just trying to live your best snail life, and you're going over things that are rough and tough and can scrape you and potentially cause you harm, so instead you secrete this mucus to basically repair and restore all of those cuts and nicks and scratches that you get along your journey. Well, that's the same thing that happens to your skin when you put the snail secretion on your skin. If you have cuts, if you have scars, if you have hyperpigmentation, if you have acne, open wounds, like, we're talking everything. If you have burn, this will change your life. And I'm not saying that lightly, like snail for me changed my, like it changed everything. It is very, very rare that I will do any routine these days without snail included because I have found it to be such a transformative and powerful ingredient for my skin type. While the Cosrx was my first introduction to snail, I do have a few others I wanted to make mention of. We have the Benton Snail Bee Essence. We also have the Ultra Vitalizing Snail Essence Water. This is amazing. Additionally, we have this I Unique Black Snail Restorative Serum. If y'all are interested in like a compare and contrast video against all these snail products, let me know in the comment section down below. I would actually be more than happy to do that for you guys because snail is like, I'm serious. It is such a skincare favorite for me. And that's it, you guys. That rounds out my top five beauty picks in the location where I'm currently living, which is South Korea. And that was really, really hard. <laughs> if you've made it this far, first of all, thank you so much for watching. And second of all, I would love to know where you're from and what your favorite product is from that place. Um, so leave it in the comment section down below. And before I sign off, if you haven't subscribed, please hit that red button. Like this video if you haven't already, you guys. And I will see you in my next video. So until then, take care. Bye. <laughs>